Welcome to Decode with Nitin, the podcast where we break down the world of data, AI, and tech into human, relatable stories. Whether you're a curious learner or an industry pro, there's something here for you. Like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with every new episode. Welcome back to Decode with Nitin, where we unpack how breakthrough tech is redefining our world. Today, we're zeroing in on Web3, and trust me, this is more than NFT monkey art or crypto casino headlines. We're talking about real-life impact in finance, real estate, and supply chain. Ready to see past the buzz? Absolutely, Nitin. Web3 is like the Internet's rebellious younger sibling swapping gatekeepers for smart contracts and bringing transparency where there was once only paperwork and handshakes. Let's show listeners how this new paradigm is already reshaping major industries. And if you're tuning in, don't forget to smash that like button and drop your thoughts in the comments. Which industry do you think will ride the Web3 wave the fastest? Now, let's break down what's actually under the Web3 hood. So, what really sets Web3 apart? Beyond the jargon, it's about decentralization, transparency, and what I call programmable trust. Imagine replacing old-school notaries with code that can't be bribed or confused. Smart contracts execute agreements automatically when conditions are met. Sound sci-fi? Or what? It really does, Knighton. But it's happening. Web3 also means users own their data and assets directly, cutting out the middlemen. For example, instead of a bank holding your funds, you control them with a private key. Skeptical listeners might wonder, is this safe? Well, the security comes from blockchain's tamper-proof nature. And this shift isn't just philosophical. It's already opening the floodgates for innovation in sectors that have been stagnant for decades. Let's dive into the first finance. DeFi, or decentralized finance, is the poster child for Web3's disruption. Imagine a small business owner in Dubai needing a quick loan. Instead of waiting weeks for bank approval, she taps into a decentralized lending pool and secures funds within minutes. No paperwork, no middlemen. That's efficiency on steroids. And it's not just loans. Tokenized assets let you invest in fractions of stocks, real estate, or even art. Think of it as turning your favorite Picasso into digital Lego blocks anyone can own a piece. Stablecoins, meanwhile, allow for instant borderless payments with fees that make traditional wire transfers look like a bad joke. But with all this innovation, challenges lurk. Regulatory clarity, user education, and those notorious crypto hacks, they're all hurdles. Still, the promise of 24-7 globally accessible finance is too big to ignore. Let's pivot to real estate. Traditionally, this sector was like an exclusive club with a pricey entry fee. Web3 flips the model. Tokenization lets you buy a 500 slice of a luxury Dubai apartment and earn rental income in crypto. Suddenly, investing isn't just for the suit and tie crowd. Exactly. Smart contracts also automate rental agreements, escrow, and even title transfers. It's like taking the bureaucracy out of buying a house. Plus, these digital tokens can be traded globally, opening local markets to international investors. The playing field has never been more level. And as we're seeing, this isn't just a theory platforms are popping up that let you browse, buy, and track property portfolios entirely on-chain. Let's dig deeper into smart contracts in real estate. Imagine closing on a property without endless paperwork or waiting for escrow to clear. A smart contract instantly transfers digital ownership once payment hits the blockchain. That's not just convenient, it slashes legal costs and delays. Plus, these contracts are transparent and immutable. If you've ever worried about title fraud, blockchain records make it virtually impossible to fake ownership. Even rental payments can be coded in tenants pay crypto, landlords receive it instantly, and everyone sees the same ledger. It's as if Zillow and your lawyer had a blockchain-powered baby. Of course, there's still regulatory red tape, but the technology is already a game-changer. Now, supply chains, the unsung heroes behind every product on your shelf. Historically, they've been a black box. You never really know where your food or sneakers came from. But Web3 brings radical transparency. Every step is recorded on an unchangeable blockchain ledger. Take a UAE food importer. By scanning a QR code, they can trace a shipment's journey from farm to shelf, ensuring freshness and compliance. It's like giving every banana a passport, complete with travel stamps and vaccination records. This level of traceability wasn't possible before Web3. And with IoT sensors feeding data directly into the blockchain, disputes over spoilage or authenticity can be resolved in minutes 
not weeks. Let's explore the role of NFTs in supply chain. We're not talking about digital art here. Each product gets a unique digital passport, an NFT that tracks its origin and journey. Suddenly, counterfeiting becomes a lot harder. Exactly, Nitin. Luxury brands are already experimenting with this. For example, LVMH uses blockchain to verify the authenticity of handbags. If someone tries to sell a fake, the blockchain reveals the truth instantly. That's peace of mind for buyers and a nightmare for fraudsters. With global losses from counterfeits hitting $500 billion annually, this tech isn't just innovative, it's essential for protecting brands and consumers alike. I want to circle back to financial inclusion. Billions worldwide lack access to traditional banking, especially in emerging markets. Web3's peer-to-peer -peer protocols open the door for anyone with a smartphone to save, borrow, or invest. That's a seismic shift. Absolutely. A recent World Bank report estimates that 1.7 billion adults remain unbanked. With decentralized apps, even those without formal ID can participate in the global economy. It's like leapfrogging from landlines to smartphones, skipping intermediaries altogether. And as adoption grows, expect to see more microloans, remittances, and insurance products built on Web3 rails, all without the paperwork and red tape. Of course, it's not all smooth sailing. Regulatory uncertainty is the elephant in the room. Governments are scrambling to catch up, and users still find onboarding wallets or apps confusing. Plus, blockchain networks can get congested. Think of a traffic jam on the world's busiest highway. True. Interoperability is another hurdle many blockchains don't talk to each other, splitting the ecosystem. But countries like the UAE are showing how progressive policies and public-private partnerships can smooth the road ahead. Hybrid models that blend Web2 convenience with Web3 trust are already emerging. So, while adoption isn't instant, the trajectory is clear and the pace is only accelerating as these kinks get ironed out. Let's wrap up by peering into the future. Imagine a world where your banking app is as easy to use as Venmo, but every transaction is verifiable on a public ledger. That's the hybrid model, blending the best of Web2's UX with Web3's transparency and security. And the UAE is blazing a trail here, thanks to tech-forward policies, global trade links, and a digitally savvy population. Whether it's real estate, logistics, or finance, the region is positioning itself as a Web3 innovation hub. Expect to see more pilot projects and regulatory sandboxes in the next few years. Agreed. The takeaway? Web3's not just a fad, it's a foundational shift in how we own, exchange, and trust. And it's happening faster than most people think. All right, listeners, it's time for our closing segment. Decode this. If you could apply Web3 to finance, real estate, or supply chain, which problem would you tackle first, and why? Is it transparency in property titles? Instant payments for farmers? Drop your answer in the comments. I read every single one. Great prompt, Nitin. For me, I'd focus on supply chain transparency, especially in food safety. But I'm curious to hear what challenges our audience would solve first and what creative ideas they'll bring. Web3 is a team sport, after all. And that's a wrap. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you never miss an episode of Decode with Nitin. Remember, technology is only as powerful as the problems it solves. Until next time, let's keep decoding the future together. Thanks for tuning in to Decode with Nitin. If you found value in this episode, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one. Like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with every new episode.